when you come here, it's more like you're coming to visit family. And, you know, Mark coined this phrase, but I like to use it. It's like you came to grandma's house. We're servants of this place more than we are owners that think we're all that, et cetera, et cetera, right? And if your you know, snowmobile or your vehicle breaks down in front of the building, we're going to be out there helping you get it running instead of kicking you out because it's checkout time. I'm Mark Bevins. And I'm Sue Bevins. And, and we, we are, are people, people of Marquette. Marquette. Do you want to or you want me to? Yeah. You go ahead, but, but stick to that. In <laughs> August of 2020, we purchased the Thunder Bay Inn. It is 18,500 square feet, 14 rooms on the second floor, converted by Henry Ford, a restaurant, a bar, and of course the old original kitchen that we're restoring for use. I grew up in Dearborn, Michigan, went to college and started off my career in IT. And then Mark and I met and he had a, our family and I was a stay-at-home mom while our kids were in school. And as my kids got a little older, I started working in the school meal program in our local school district. And I did that for 15 to 20 years. I grew up in Macomb County, a little town near Romeo. I came up to Northern to go to school for a couple of years, did a lot of hunting and fishing while I was supposed to be at class. Ended up back home, served apprenticeship in the tool industry. I got hired by General Motors, spent 30 years there, and uh, we're here now. And what I like to tell people is that I'm 65 going on eighth grade. I think we're way more active now too, which I appreciate just physically. I don't sit at a desk all day. My job is an active job. And even I find like when I have a day off, like I just like, oh, I want to do something. I want to be moving. I don't want to sit in a chair. Basically in Big Bay, you're a block away from everything. Put your cross-country skis on here and hit the trail. My father came here in 1956 and started hunting. And we've been here four times a year ever since. You know, we spent all our vacations and holidays here you know, while we were raising our family. We'd camp in our cabin between Christmas and New Year's with our kids. So really, when you think about it, if you get an opportunity to go live and work where you vacation, you know, that's a pretty awesome opportunity. This started out as a company store. In approximately 1909, Brunswick came to Big Bay for the sole purpose of harvesting maple for bowling pins and bowling alleys and red oak for frames for billiard tables. Until 44, when Henry Ford purchased basically the whole town, he turned this into an inn for the Ford Motor Company executives. I think it was called the Ford Inn when Ford Motor Company owned it. And then it was the Big Bay Hotel. Correct. And it wasn't called the Thunder Bay Inn until after they shot the movie, Anatomy of a Murder. It was the first time Hollywood had ever filmed a movie completely on site and everybody stayed until they wrapped. The amount of economic impact to the area was, was immense and of course a lot of the scenes were shot here so it was pretty exciting. This town wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this building here. This is so rich between history and, and nature and resources. So we're absolutely all in yeah. and don't regret a second. I'm Mark. And I'm Sue. And, and we, we made, made it Marquette, Marquette from, from Big, Big Bay. Bay.